Hey everyone, welcome back to The Rocketeer. Today I have a device that everyone needs and that is a locator for a rocket. Now how many of you have been out in the field, you can't find your rocket, you're looking for somebody else's rocket, it's landing in a tall grass or in a bean field or something like that and you just can't seem to find it. Well this little device right here is going to help us out. It is a personal alarm, there you can see it right there. And it's really easy to modify it to be like a locator, an audio beacon of sorts that will help you locate your rocket. And one thing you got to watch is once you pull this little pin right here, this thing will scream so loud that it will make your eyeballs knock together. <laughs> so while we're working on it, if you want, you can uh, put earplugs in or something like that. Or just be very careful because if that comes out, yeah, it's going to be really loud. All right, let's take a look at how we're going to change this up and use it for rocketry. We need a couple of tools to get started. One of the things we need is Kevlar cord. This is 300 pound Kevlar cord. It's plenty strong enough for this project. Or you can use something heavier like this uh, 500 or this is 600 pound Kevlar cord here. It's uh, a lot stronger than what we need, but it's just super handy to have it in the rocketry shop. So I like to keep this on hand. You can use whatever you have or buy whatever you need. It's not too expensive in a small roll like this. The other thing that we need is something to pry apart the alarm. And I like this tool by iFixit. It's uh, super handy, easy to use. Uh, it, I've used it for laptops to pry them apart or toys or watches or clocks, just a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I like the flexible blade is really strong on it. It's not sharp and you can get that flexible blade in there and get things apart. And it's a lot safer than say using a pocket knife or something like that, which I don't recommend. So let's get our stuff together and we'll take one apart. The first thing we need to do is remove this small screw right here and be careful you don't pull the pin while you're working on it or you're gonna have a bad day. Okay, so I'll take the screw out. It does have a light that's built in. We won't need that, but yeah, let's see here. Then the next thing we need to do is pry it apart. Now, sometimes it takes a little effort. That's okay. You just try to find the most likely place that you could pop this apart. I'm going to try where the light is mounted and see if that works. Be careful. Oh, I got in there pretty quick. We no longer need this ring. We can set that aside. And you can see the circuit board and there's a small screw in the circuit board right in the center here. And we need to remove that screw so we can get the circuit board out. But the first thing I'm going to do is pop these batteries out so that we don't have an unpleasant experience. Yeah, there we go. Use a smaller screwdriver to remove that. These are like jeweler screwdrivers. That screw is very small. And now we have access to the clamshell so we can thread our Kevlar cord through it. The pull pin comes through this area in the top. And the bottom piece also has a corresponding notch in it just the same. So what we want to do is drill the hole across from that notch. So in this area, I think you can see it right here is where we want to drill the hole. And then when we assemble it together, it'll come out the back of it. Okay, let's drill the hole. Be careful that the plastic doesn't grab in the drill bit. Okay, I've drilled the hole about across from the pull pin, if you can see. Thread the Kevlar cord through the bottom of it. Then take the top, and there's a small button that we don't need anymore. I'm going to just tip it out and we'll discard that button, and then I'll thread the Kevlar cord through where the button was. Now we can assemble the circuit board back together. Put that tiny screw back in there. Make sure the Kevlar is corded through here where it won't interfere with the button batteries. And before we put the button batteries in, I want to make sure you put the pull pin back in. Now that the batteries are installed, we can go ahead and snap everything back together. 
Don't forget to put the last screw in. And then we can tie a knot in our loop. After that, I'll show you how to attach it to the shock cord. There we go. And that's how it should come out through the top and through the bottom. This is how I like to attach it. I use a small quick link like this and just put it through the loop here. I like to make a loop on my Kevlar shock cord or whatever kind of shock cord you're using. Hook the two together. And then the idea is that you need a certain amount of length here. And I'll make the attachment point down here farther so that it forms a loop. And it's that loop that will pull the pin out. So the easiest way to do that is just leave plenty of loop so you don't have to guess if enough is enough. And then the easiest way to attach this is just to take a very small uh, zip tie and run it through the loop. It doesn't take much to hold it. It doesn't take much to pull that pin out. And then I just zip tie it to the cord so it's snug like that. And that's all there is to it. And then the force of the ejection charge will pull this apart, pull that pin out, and voila, you have a screamer that's uh, easy to find, uh, even in tall grass or even in a tree. Uh, when I'm done with it, what I do is I just take a pair of cutters and just cut that off, and I'm ready for the next use. I hope you found the tutorial helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, I'll leave links in the description to all the tools that I used. I do earn a small commission on some of these tools, so uh, follow that link, and you, that's the best way to support the channel. I really appreciate it. They come in three packs, so you can have uh, several ready uh, before the launch day. It, it helps that way, or just give some to a friend that may need it, and that way you spend less time looking for their rockets. Okay, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.